two F-15E Strike Eagles, drop seven precision guided munitions, totally destroying nine facilities and partially destroying two facilities, making them functionally destroyed. The structures were located at the Abu Kamal Terrorist Entry Control Point, located near the Syria-Iraq border on the Syrian side. This location is known to facilitate uh, Iranian-aligned militia group activity. As we made clear last night, and I think through President Biden's order, he made clear uh, that the United States will act to protect American and coalition personnel and our security interests in the region. At what point did it become clear who was behind the rocket attack in Erbil? And, and, and then how, how long did it take you to sort of decide on the target and carry out the operation? And also, were the other rocket attacks in, at the Balad Air Base and the Green Zone afterward, were those also linked to those same groups? Well, when we referred to, um, when we referred to the justification for the strikes, we talked about recent attacks. So I'd leave it at that. That, uh, that, that certainly you can take away from that, that this structure was hit because we know it was utilized by groups that were responsible for, for uh, these recent attacks, not just uh, Erbil. I don't know. I can't give you a date certain, uh, Dan, when, you know, when all of a sudden the, you know, the light bulb went on and we knew, you know, this is, this was the, these were the groups and this is what we were going to, uh, what we were going to do. But I, I can tell you that the, the president himself authorized this uh, uh, yesterday morning.